hello it's your girl inside life with chini today i'll be showing you how to make your banga stew ofaku when it comes to large quantity yes at this point our banga was nicely washed and cooked until it became completely soft we proceeded to using our mortar to pound feel free to use your food processor so now i'm adding our dry fish yes next i'll be adding our pounded pepper i'll be giving it a quick stir once you see the oil beginning to settle at the top just know that your banga fruit is ready to accommodate any kind of spices yes next i went in with our sliced onion some bouillon cubes next i'll be adding our banga spices for bang um, for for banga stew sorry onga spices for banga stew and for egusi yes use this if you haven't been using it next i added our crayfish pounded crayfish next what you're seeing is our native banga spices yes different kinds of herbs were mixed and blended together go to the market and just ask them for banga spices they will give you next our meat they are nicely cooked our goat meat and beef they were cooked until it became completely soft yes so i added them at those points so everything will mix and become friends together yes as you can see guys our stew is 80 percent ready the aroma coming from my kitchen at this point guys it's top notch yes next i'll be adding our vegetable this is completely scent leaf i didn't mix any vegetable just scent leaves yes feel free to use your ugu leaf your whatever leaf you deem fit or whatever leaf you think is your favorite for me as long as this stew is consigned scent leaf is still my favorite yes so i'll cover just for a little minute for everything to cook completely yes guys as you can see okay that reminds me in case you want to scoop out the oil do that before adding your spices yes you heard me right guys in case you want to use the oil you're seeing at the top for another recipe scoop it out before adding your spices okay yes guys at this point our stew is completely ready our stew is completely ready and it's okay for our rice yam anything at all guys yes it's ready for our rice cook this for your husband your your your, your spouse come back and thank me later this thing this stew is just so easy but where the work lies is the pounding and the fruits the fruit juice extraction yes but once you start to eat it you forget all your pain and all your sorrows yes guys you heard me it can last long as long as one month two months if properly stored in the freezer see you again bye